What I'm going to do here today is I'm going to apply a level 5 finish to this wall. A level 5 finish is the highest level of finish for drywall. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pole sander and I'm going to sand this surface. And that's all I would normally do and I'd be done, which is a typical finish. But what we have is a lot of areas that have compound on them and other areas that don't have any compound. And then before I go to apply the level 5, I'm going to take a little brush and I'm going to get all the dust out of the outlets, uh, all the little chunks of compound and debris that are in those outlets. Get that out of there so I don't pick that up with my taping knife as I'm applying the, the level 5 finish. Right now we can see that uh, there still are slight differences. What I've got is these very smooth areas now where it blends into the paper the paper is kind of roughed up. I've actually raised the nap of that paper just a little bit. You can actually see that the dust is clinging to the nap that I've raised in the paper. The porosity of these different surfaces is different and that also creates slight differences in the look after it's primed. And that's a reason for a level 5 finish. We want to eliminate all these very minor little um, differences. Yeah, what I have here is just a regular all-purpose lightweight compound and some water in a mixer. I'm just kind of trying to test a little bit. I'm thinking that's still a little bit too thick. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. I'm trying to come up with a consistency that's not too thin. When I dip my roller in there, I don't want it to all just go dripping right off before I even get it to the surface. I want the cling well enough so that I can get it to the wall without, without creating a big mess. This is actually looking pretty good. And sometimes I'll just kind of stick my knife in there and I can tell, well, I think that's going to look pretty good. As you work with this, it'll start to get a little thicker on it, so you're going to have to remix this. So you can see that the roller is pretty heavy nap. This is probably more like a three-quarter inch nap. Half inch nap roller would work fine. Now I'm thinking that's a pretty good consistency. See how it's really clinging to the roller? I can actually get it over to the wall um, and hardly ever probably have a drip on the floor. <clears throat> Just bring it right over the wall. I typically push up because if you go down it's uh, just going to drip on the floor. See, I'm just kind of sl almost sliding it, not, and the roller is just turning very slowly. So that's about how you want it to go. I don't really have to go right into this corner with this thin layer of compound because it's already covered with compound. Of course, I am going over the seams and things because we're trying to blend them in. But to go right into the corner, I'm, I'm going to avoid that because I really don't want to have to be real particular taping that corner right now. Notice how I'm putting it on pretty heavy. If you try to put it on too thin it's going to start to dry out on you before you can get to it and remove it. There I've gone probably almost four feet wide so I want to start removing it right away now. You ready? It actually has started to dry a little bit along this edge. So I've, I've taken a little compound off the other surface and I'm just applying it to that dry edge. Now you can see I'm removing as much compound as I can. The level 5 finish is just a thin film. It is not comparable to a plaster finish or veneer plaster finish. What we're trying to do is just equalize this all out. We're not trying to put another thick layer of compound on the surface. This doesn't have to be a one-man operation. If I had a helper rolling it on ahead of me, we could really accomplish this very quickly. Be a lot more productive with two people. This compound goes right back in the bucket. As you work, it starts to dry out on you a little bit because you know, some of the moisture is being taken out when it's applied and, and removed from the wall. This is going to dry rather quickly, probably in an hour to be dry enough. Uh, just go over lightly with a pole sander, maybe with a 220 grit sandpaper. Through this whole wall might take 
It will probably take less than a minute. And then it's ready for priming and painting. 